when things go in the kiln, um, they need to be waxed on the bottom so that they don't stick and they don't get glaze on them. And they don't get glaze on them. And um, this is this mask is going to get glazed um, face up, so I need to put wax on the bottom. And then what I'm doing is I'm painting it on because smaller things you can actually dip in a lot of wax, but with um, a larger sculpture like my mask, you need to actually paint on the wax. This will burn off in the process of um, of the firing. So what I'm going to do is wax it and then I'm going to actually glaze it after the wax has dried a little bit and the glaze won't go on to the bits that I've waxed obviously. So if I wanted anything on the face to remain unglazed and just get black in the kiln I would put wax on those as well. glazing very much because it's very very tricky you have to be very skilled at glazing whereas when I glaze something always goes wrong no, no, too much negative self-talk yes. one of the nice things about the studio is there's so many different types of glazes here and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to glaze my mask a cut of green, but it's going to be a thin green so that enough of the sort of flesh tone of the clay will come through. What I'm hoping to create is a, since I've made a, a mask of the, the god Pan, I want him to look both human but also myth mythological. So he's going to be green, as in nature, but I want enough of his humanness to come through so that it creates a kind of surreal quality. But I can't glaze until after this wax is actually dried a bit.